With Stride CRM, you can now take your website, whether it's on Stride, WordPress, Wix, you name it, and transform your website into a 24-7 sales and customer service machine using an AI chatbot. And it only takes a few minutes to set up. In this video, I'm gonna show you an incredibly simple way to create this chatbot in a matter of minutes and add it to any website so you can start collecting leads from motivated sellers on your buying acquisition website, or the exact same process can be used to answer questions for prospective buyers on your selling disposition website. This chatbot can even build your buyers list at the same time. It's incredible. There is no better way to make your business work around the clock even while you're sleeping. So please pay attention and follow along because this is easier and more lucrative than you might think. Let's jump in. Okay, so once you're in your Stride account, and by the way, if you're not already using Stride, you probably should be. There's a link below if you wanna check it out. All you have to do is go right over here to the left sidebar where it says AI agents. And the thing we're gonna be building is called a conversation AI agent. And this is normally where you would go if you were building one from scratch. You would click create your first conversation AI agent, and then you would start from scratch and go through all that. But that's not what we're doing because we've actually already built one for you. If you go over here to agents list, you're gonna find two agents right here. The first one is called Alex, and this is an agent that we set up and trained with a knowledge base so that it would understand how to intake and handle conversations on your buying or acquisition website. So if a motivated seller lands on your website and is interested in selling their property and they want to get more information and go through that whole process, this agent is trained up with a knowledge base to ask the right questions and gather the right information. And it can even plug that information directly into your CRM if you wanted to. And also, this doesn't just have to work on your website. If you wanted to use this exact same technology, you could handle the same conversations through SMS, on Instagram, on your Facebook account, on WhatsApp. But for the sake of this example, we're going to be doing this on the live chat. So that's basically just right on your website. And again, you'll see by default, this is going to be off. If you want to turn it on, just go over here to check autopilot and then save it. But before we do that, I'm going to just show you how this is trained up. So by default, you're going to see company name in here. So that means it's going to pull whatever name is coming from your business profile. If you go down here to settings and then go over here to your business profile, it's going to be taking whatever name you have in here. So just be aware of that if you want to use a different name, you can come back here and you know manually enter in a different name or you could just update whatever name is shown right here. You can also adjust some of the settings here and we've actually played around with this a little bit and in our testing, we thought that four seconds was a good wait time before responding. You don't want it to respond immediately or it's going to give away that this is a, you know, AI chatbot and just doesn't feel human at all. So four seconds is usually a good wait time. If you want it to be longer or shorter, you can certainly adjust that. And you can also set the maximum number of messages it can send in a conversation before it just goes to sleep. And the reason you might want to set a limit on this, and the reason we have one on here is because there is a cost per message for every single message that it sends. So if you don't want it to go nuts, you could just put a limit on that. And we found most conversations happen well within that 15 message range. But if you just wanted to have a safeguard in there, that's why that's there. And it's also set up by default so that if you interrupt the conversation and manually intervene, it's going to put that bot to sleep. So it will stop trying to answer. Now we'll go over here to bot training. So this is where a lot of the magic happens where you can select the knowledge base and the knowledge bases are actually up here. If you click on this, you'll find an individual knowledge base put together for each of these four different agents. We have one for the buy side and the sell side on the conversational agents. That's like the chat boss that we're talking about. We also have a separate one for the buy and sell side for the voice AI agents. That's a kind of a separate thing where, you know, it can actually handle live phone calls. But the one that we're most concerned with for this is Alex, because that's the one we're working on. And again, this is for the buy acquisition side. And uh, if you go ahead and click on this, you can open it up if you want to, and it'll show you all the training that went into it. Keep in mind, you can change this if you want. If you don't like how this is handling conversations, you can always copy this entire thing, put it into ChatGPT and Claude and just say, hey, when I'm having conversations with this, it's not doing this right, or it's not asking this question, or it's asking this question wrong, whatever it is, paste this whole thing, tell it what you want it to change, and it will rewrite the whole thing for you. And then you can paste those updated instructions in here. So that's one way to handle it. Also, one other thing to note, in each one of these knowledge bases, you're gonna find this little thing that says AI business name. So if you want this AI agent to actually reference your company by name, you'll probably wanna go into this knowledge base and manually override that and type out whatever your company business name is, just so there's no mistaking what your business name is. If you don't come in here and override this, then it would 
it'll just kind of act ambiguous and not really talk about your business name that much. So this is one of the few spots where you have to actually spell out your business name if that matters to you. But either way, this is where you can find the knowledge base. And if we go back over here, Again, go back to the conversational AI agent, go back here to Alex. So right here, we can see where we had selected Alex as the knowledge base to use with Alex. So that's already set up by default. Now moving on over here, bot goals. So there's three different sections here that explain what exactly this chat bot is designed to do. And also heads up, here's one more spot where you can override the AI business name if you actually wanna plug your specific business name in there. And again, we put a lot of time and thought into how to train this up the way that we thought would make the most sense. But again, as you test out your bot, which you can do right over here, you can just start sending in a message and see how it responds. You know, we would certainly encourage you to try that out so you understand how this thing works. But as you do that, if you find that it's not answering questions or if it's not responding the right way, you can do the same thing here where you can copy and paste this into Claude or ChatGPT. Tell it how you want it to change and it'll change it for you and you can update this as well. And again, go over here, just give it a try and say, hi, and you'll see it'll wait four seconds and it will respond. Hi there, are you interested in selling a piece of land? If so, I can get some details to get started. I'll say, sure. And it will start asking me all the basic questions it would normally ask any seller to gather their information, gather some of the basic property details. And another very cool thing about this is that you can set up actions for this chat bot. So say, for example, if you wanted it to book appointments between you and the person chatting, you could do that. If you wanted it to take the information and put it into your CRM, that's something I find pretty useful. You could do that as well. And keep in mind, by default, it's going to be able to take down the name, email and phone number of each each person is talking to as long as it's built into the prompt itself. So you don't need to create any specific actions for that. But if you wanted it to take some other information like their business name or, you know, anything else that uh, goes into the contact fields, you could do that as well if you manually add an action like this for each conversation. As soon as you want to turn this thing on and start using it, again, just go ahead and click on this, save it, and you're good to go. But there's a couple more things you have to do in order to actually get this thing live on your website. But before I show you that, I also want to show you the other chatbot we put together, which is Morgan. And this is pretty much the same idea. The only difference is this is set up to just answer basic questions on your selling or a disposition website. Or even if you have a separate phone number set up and people start texting in on that, you could have it handle those conversations as well. And it's pretty much the same process. There is a separate knowledge base set up to handle the selling side of things. And also these prompts here are set up with the assumption that you're talking to potential buyers who want to buy properties from your company. So that's all trained into that. And then similar thing here where if you wanted to collect, you know, email addresses and that kind of thing from these people, you could do that and add it to your CRM and start building your buyers list. Go ahead and test it out if you want. Assuming that's all good to go and you go over here and you turn on either this one or Alex. And by the way, you can change the names if you want to. Feel free to do that. But say, for example, if you wanted to go back to Alex and Alex is set up as the primary right now, which means it's going to take that one by default when you create a chat widget. And if we go ahead and turn this thing on and then save it and then go over here to sites and once we're into our sites we're going to open this up assuming you have a website that is live and active you could go here and all we got to do is go up here to settings we're going to click chat widget down here and we're going to select alex because that's the one we just turned on and that's the primary chat bot right now once we do that we can go ahead and click save and once we've done all that we can go ahead and open up this page and look at that there's our chat widget we just set up. So now we can open this thing up or any visitor can open it up and start having these conversations and it will work in pretty much the exact same way it did when you were testing it out. Pretty cool, huh? Now, what if you don't have a website on Stride? What if you have a website through WordPress or Wix or some other thing like that? This can work for that too, and I'll show you how. So if we go back here to sites and then we go click on chat widget up here, we're gonna see Alex, that's the one that we just put together, right? So if we click on that, and right up here, we're gonna see where it says get code. And we can copy this right here. And as long as you have a website with the code editor, and most WordPress websites do, you can paste it right in there. So if we go over here to this blog post over here on Ari Tipster, just for an example, I'll go ahead and click edit post. And if you have a code editor with something like Elementor, you can always just take a code block and put it on there. But even if you just go to the blog post itself, I mean, just get this code anywhere on the page where you want it to work. Like I'm just going to go down here in the code tab and just paste that code. And when we update this thing, 
And then we view this blog post. Now we can see that chat widget is right down here and it works the exact same way. And you can train this thing again to say whatever you want. It can be a 24 seven cash cow selling machine. It's not gonna call in sick. It's not gonna complain. It's not gonna show up late for work. It works around the clock 24 seven. There is no reason why you shouldn't have this kind of thing working on your site. And honestly, there are companies out there charging thousands of dollars per month to use this. And as a user of Stride, it's built right in. There's really no good reason why you shouldn't be using it. So all you gotta do is go back here to AI agents, find the ones that we've already built for you, pretty much plug and play, ready to go. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna see how to set up and use the voice AI agent, which is kind of a similar idea, but it just handles these conversations on the phone, does the same kind of thing, be sure to check out this next video and you can learn how that works.